It is possible for your brain to experience pain greater than you can even imagine. Allow me to explain. The cluster headache is the most painful species of headache. Cluster headaches are nicknamed suicide headaches because of just how painful they are. The pain has been described as deep, constant, boring, piercing, or burning in nature, with a concentration behind one eye, but with a painful radiation to the rest of the head and even the neck and shoulders. Female sufferers have reported cluster headaches more painful than childbirth. During the attack, people may rock back and forth, pace around, yell, put pressure on the affected areas, and even bang their head on things, wishing for the pain to stop. But a cluster headache isn't just painful. Autonomic symptoms also appear on the same side of the head as the cluster headache. Specifically, these may include an uncontrollable stream of tears, constriction of the pupil into a small point, drooping of the eyelid, and other signs. These headaches generally last between 15 and 180 minutes, but usually occur multiple times. This pattern of clustered attacks gives cluster headaches their name. Sometimes, before the pain even begins, people report feelings of restlessness, difficulties in concentration, and changes in energy. Attacks may be associated with specific times of day, with a time of year, and details of a person's sleep cycle. For instance, cluster headaches appear to be more likely to occur following the beginning or ending of daylight savings time when people in some time zones have to adjust their internal clocks. The patterned nature of cluster headaches has helped researchers discover the responsible part of the brain. The culprit appears to be the hypothalamus, which sort of contains the body's internal clock. Dysregulation of the body's rhythm due to hypothalamic abnormalities is thought to lead to cluster headaches, although more research is needed to determine exactly what causes the pain itself. Most people with cluster headaches mercifully experience periods of months or even years of remission in which they do not have attacks. For example, a 48-year-old man reported shooting pains at night that were always above his right eyebrow. He would have one headache each night, lasting between 30 and 45 minutes, waking him up at roughly 1 a.m. The attacks would occur once each night for about six weeks, and then stop completely for six months, after which they would return for another six weeks. He eventually found a medication that he could inject before bedtime to help with the attacks. Cluster headaches are associated with a few things, including peptic ulcer disease, smoking tobacco, and previous head trauma. Men are more likely to experience cluster headaches than women, which is the opposite of the pattern seen in migraines. People with cluster headaches should avoid alcohol and napping, both of which can trigger attacks. Two ways that people treat cluster headaches are by breathing pure oxygen and with medicated nasal sprays, but they don't always work. Another exciting area of research is deep brain stimulation, where stimulating the hypothalamus can sometimes lead to headache relief. For example, a 39-year-old man who had been having cluster headaches for about five years attempted several treatments to alleviate the pain. Medications were tried first, which discouragingly did not produce any worthwhile benefit. Surgery was then tried, and the surgeons permanently numbed the nerves on the right side of his face. But this treatment led to more severe cluster headaches on the left side. Eventually, an electrode was implanted in his brain in his hypothalamus that continuously produced an electrical stimulation of the area, which led to relief from the cluster headaches. In order to find a treatment or medication that works for one particular person, there is usually a large amount of trial and error that must be gone through first, so it is often up to the sufferer to hold on and keep exploring options until relief is finally found from this unbelievably painful way that your brain can break.